representation of foreign delegations uh, in the uh, tourism working group, the third tourism working group in Srinagar than we have had in the previous working group meetings. In fact, this was some of one of the highest representations in any working group meeting in India. Now, our experience is that in any working group meeting, uh, to get such a large turnout uh, of uh, delegates, uh, not only from uh, G20 countries, but DPT countries and uh, and uh, international organizations that are part of the G20 is, I think, a very creditable process. All I can say is we are very, very happy with the turnout. We've got an excellent turnout of uh, foreign delegates, and uh, they will be complemented, uh, you know, by a pool of experts uh, in the tourism sector. So I think, uh, all in all, uh, I don't know if Secretary Tourism would agree, but I think we have uh, the makings of a, what I mean, absolutely unique meeting in terms of representation, participation, and productivity uh, emerging on this meeting. Look, uh, one point that uh, Chief Secretary brought out is not only that we propose to reach the figure of two crore tourists visiting this Union territory of Jammu and Kashmir this year, but a good number of them are foreign tourists. Uh, just the uh, uh, evening before I came, I was with a number of ambassadors, and they all told me their citizens are here. I mean, they, because they know who are coming and who are visiting. Very large number of foreign tourists who are here. So, I mean, at the end of the day, what do, what do advisories mean? They mean nothing. People want to go where uh, they uh, have, they feel that there is uh, tremendous uh, scope for them to go to rest, to recreate, uh, to see some natural beauty, to experience wonderful culture, wonderful cuisine, hospitality. I think uh, there's no better place than Jammu and Kashmir. And that would be our largest uh, point of uh, this thing. And foreigners will come in, will continue to come in very large numbers, and as long as People in Jammu and Kashmir are stakeholders, they, they are supporting the process of uh, tourism, uh, which is very evident in the numbers that we are talking about. I think uh, foreign tourists would love to come in in ever greater numbers. Also, also from the international organizations and the invitee countries. So, uh, given that this is the largest working group representation that uh, we have, and given that uh, this is one of the largest working group meetings that we have, when we compare to other sectors, there are more reasons to be happy than to be concerned at this stage. Change in the act, because of the large number of delegates, there were some logistical issues. So I will repeat, because of the large number of delegates, we, there was a change in the act. Different uh, places of touristic and general interest that the uh, JNK administration has identified for the delegates uh, to visit. Uh, there is a very large uh, number of uh, a variety of places which are of uh, interest from the point of view of scenic beauty, human interest, a range of areas where our delegation uh, members would be taken to and would be visiting. And I think that is also uh, something that uh, some of us who have been to all of these places and had a look, I think very impressed by the amount of uh, variety and variation in terms of the options that people, especially those with an interest in tourism, can have in the valley itself. As I mentioned, we have hosted uh, 118 meetings in 46 different you know, spots, cities, and locations in our country, uh, right from uh, the run of Kutch in Western India to Kohima, to Nagaland in Eastern India, from uh, you know, Kanyakumari in Kerala, and now of course in, uh, in Kashmir, in Srinagar, in, in Jammu and Kashmir. And uh, I think in every location that we've held a G20 meeting, there has been a sense of pride, a sense of attachment, a sense of uh, participation. Uh, everybody is a stakeholder and a participant in every G20 meeting. And I have no doubt uh, that uh, that is the case uh, in, in Srinagar and in Jammu and Kashmir also. And we are very happy that we are hosting uh, an important meeting uh, in which there are important deliverables, outcomes and uh, some sort of a, uh, you know, a productive uh, results that would emerge out of this uh, tourism meeting. And uh, like in any other part of our country, we are proud to host it in Srinagar and in the Union Territory of Jammu. Since this is a tourism working group meeting, we are focusing on subjects of tourism relevant to Jammu and Kashmir, which includes uh, the topic of film tourism and ecotourism. And uh, ecotourism definitely has a very integral relationship with climate change because ecotourism involves conserving the ecological system, the environment, and promoting tourism in such ecologically sensitive regions. So, since we have focused primarily on tourism, and one of the subjects has done that. Now, going back to your previous question, it was answered fairly and squarely by Mr. Shrigla 
when he said that in any meeting in the working groups of other session, there are, you know, some countries that do not come for various logistical reasons. Now, for instance, a working group has four sessions. It is not possible for some countries for some uh, logistical or other economic reasons to attend all the meetings. So, we are taking it in that light and we are seeing massive attendance from the representatives of the travel and trade industry from the certain countries. We are seeing very good attendance by representatives from the other uh, countries and an excellent uh, response also from the international organizations and the invitee countries. So, uh, given that this is the largest working group representing